So one of the biggest confusions I see with newer divers who are coming up through the SSI system is what is the difference between advanced adventure and advanced open water diver and which one is actually a, a certification versus what a rating is and how are you as a new diver going to use say that certification of that rating when you go out and make dives, especially off charters. We all know that most charters pretty much require you to have an advanced certification or some type of an advanced title to get deeper than say 60 feet or to do any type of extreme diving whether it's say drift diving, night diving or something of that sort. So in today's video I kind of want to explain the difference between SSI's advanced adventure and their full advanced open water diver rating. <music> What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now as I stated in the teaser clip, we're going to be talking about the SSI Advanced Adventure Program or certification and the Advanced Open Water Diver Rating. We're going to kind of explain the differences in them by simply looking at standards and what you must do to actually obtain both the certification and the rating and which class is going to be appropriate for you to take if you are a newer diver. So with that being said, let's jump into today's video. So a lot of charters will actually require you to have an advanced diver certification before you make certain dives, whether it's say deeper than 60 feet, maybe you're diving in a current, maybe you want to do some night diving, anything of that sort, a lot of charters will actually require for insurance purposes that you actually hold an advanced certification. And there's many training agencies out there that actually have an advanced course. Typically it's just a five dive course where you don't really get certified in different areas, but you do kind of get to get your feet wet in those particular areas and then at the end of that they're going to give you a card that says advanced open water diver well ssi has a very similar program they simply call it advanced adventure what advanced adventure is is basically a five dive course that you can take and at the end of that course you of course you get a card that says you're an advanced adventurer but what is the course actually for well it's simply for a diver or a new diver if you will who is not sure what pathway they want to go down maybe they're not sure what specialties they want to take or they've not made up their mind they just got their open water certification and they want to see what else is out there they want to get their feet wet in five different areas and with advanced adventure you can do that you can do one deep dive say to 60 feet you can do a night dive you can do a navigation dive maybe you want to do a search and recovery or a nitrox dive you can do a perfect buoyancy dive you can do a boat dive you pick your flavor of the week with five different dives and you kind of get your feet wet to see what you may want to take next you may take it and say hey i didn't really like the deep diving but i really enjoy the night diving now you know night diver is going to be the next course you take so that's what the advanced adventure is now i do want to state this you're not really an advanced diver if we really think about it you made four open water dives to get your open water certification and then you made five adventure dives that's only a total of nine dives <clears throat> To me, that's not really an advanced diver. So the good news is SSI does have the full advanced open water diver rating, and it's a little bit more hectic to actually get that rating. So let's take a quick look at standards and see what you gotta do to get the advanced open water diver rating. So as we can see, according to SSI, to earn your advanced open water diver rating, there's several prerequisites that must be met. First and foremost, you got to have four full specialties. This is not just getting your feet wet. If deep divers one, then of course you're going to make three dives for deep diver. If navigation's one, you're going to make two dives for navigation. If say night divers one, you're going to make two dives for night diver, and then two more certifications. Whatever you choose, whether it's react right, rescue, you pick your flavor of the week. But you're going to actually earn four full specialties. Now each of those dives or each of those specialties may be classroom only, they may, may be classroom and confined water, they may even be classroom, confined water, and open water. And if it's an equipment distinctive specialty, meaning there's certain types of equipment you got to have to take the class, then of course you're going to have to make three dives per that. So let's say you took four full specialties, they all required a total of three dives. Well, that's 12 dives on top of your four open water dives. Now, that's still only 16 dives. Guess what? SSI also requires you to have a total of 24 dives before you can earn the rating of advanced open water divers.
driver. So now let's compare that to say the Advanced Adventure or even other training agencies advanced open water diver. You've got your four open water dives, you got an additional 20 dives to equal your 24, and you got a total of four specialties, full-fledged certification specialty courses that you've took and earned to me, that is more advanced than the Advanced Adventure or really any of the other agencies' advanced class as well. So with that being said, I really think the Advanced Open Water Diver rating is a better option than just taking the Advanced Adventure. And I'm not bashing SSI. I'm an SSI instructor trainer. I'm just simply stating that a lot of our students completely skip the Advanced Adventure. Now, one of the reasons is, of course, they already know what classes or what pathway they want to go down. We're an ITC center. That means we're an instructor training center. A lot of our students go down that professional path. They work their way up to dive master, assistant instructor, and instructor. So with that, they already know what prerequisite courses are required, and they take those courses. Now, we do maybe a couple of times a year, we'll have someone come in who does their open water class. They're not sure what class they want to do next, so they'll take the advanced adventure. But the majority of our students already know what classes they want to take, and they strive to get that advanced open water diver rating versus just the advanced adventure certification. So guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I really hope it makes you understand or have a better understanding of the difference between the SSI Advanced Adventure and everybody else's advanced course and the SSI Advanced Open Water Diver rating. Yes, one is a certification, the other one is a rating. I would encourage you to do your own research. Get up with your local SSI instructor and see which one's going to be a better choice for you. But I can tell you right now, if you already know the pathway you want to go, you already know what specialties you want to take, Go ahead and take those specialty courses and completely skip the advanced adventure. You're going to get better educated. You're going to have more knowledge, more skills. You'll have better equipment. And, of course, you're going to have more experience than someone who just went out and made a total of five dives. But, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions about advanced adventure, advanced open water diver, or you want to compare it to say what training agency you're with, drop me a comment or a question down below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can and as quick as I can. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.